Hey there, Johnny May here, and welcome to this quick tip where I'm gonna teach you how to play any melody in this beautiful block chord style. This is a style of jazz that was made famous by the jazz pianist George Shearing. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know about block chords. You'll learn the three steps that I use to figure out block chords for any melody. I'll show you which chords that you can use these block chords on. And then I'm gonna show you how to apply these block chords to a melody. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, the first step to playing block chords is to understand how to use them and when to use them in your playing. And the easiest description of a block chord is it's a way to harmonize a melody. So let's say you had a chord like a C major seven chord, and let's say the melody went like this. Well, a lot of pianists would play the chord in their left hand and they would play a single note melody in their right hand. But another really cool way to harmonize your melody is to play it in block chords. Doesn't that sound amazing? And so in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. So the first step in playing block chords is to understand that you're harmonizing a melody using the block chords. In the case of this lesson, we're going to be working with melody notes that come from the C major scale. Okay, so they're not very hard melodies. All right, before I teach you step number two, if you're enjoying this lesson, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. Okay, so that's step number one. Step number two in creating your block chords is to double your melody. Okay, so we're going to be using the C major scale as the basis of our melody. So what you wanna do is take these seven notes and you wanna double them on the bottom. Okay, so it's pretty simple right now. You're just gonna play the melody in simple octaves. But this is very important about block chords. Whenever you're playing block chords, the melody is always going to be in octaves on the outside. All right, we are in step number three, which is the most exciting step because you're going to learn how to harmonize all seven notes of the C major scale in the block chord style. And what this will do for you is that anytime you see a melody using one of the notes from the major scale and it's on a major chord, you'll easily be able to harmonize it in the block chord style, okay? So here's how it works. Basically, we're going to take these melody notes which are currently in octaves, and we're gonna add three notes in the middle of each melody, okay? So imagine for one second, your melody is a C, and again, our chord in the left hand is like a C major, or perhaps it's like a C major seven. It's a major chord, and our melody is a C. Well, the three notes that we're gonna add in the middle of this chord are E, G, and A. And this is our first block chord. Okay. Now there's a few things to observe about this. It's a five note chord, one, two, three, four, five. The melody is on the outside in octaves. And then generally speaking with block chords, I play the top four notes with my right hand, and then I play the octave note with a single finger in my left hand. Now we're currently harmonizing the first note of the C major scale, and it's on a C major chord. So it's helpful to think about the chord construction for this block chord. The way we construct this chord is we put the root on the bottom, that's one, we have the third above it, the fifth, the sixth, and then the root on top, which is the one. And so if you look here at the lesson sheet music, I've actually given you the formula to build a block chord on the first note of your major scale. And the formula is very simple. It's one, six, five, three, one. So if you're playing a C major scale and you wanna harmonize the first note of the scale as if it was a melody, well, you put the one on the top, then you put the sixth note of the scale underneath it, then the fifth, the third, and the root and you have a beautiful block chord to harmonize the first note of your scale. Now, before I teach you the other six block chords that come from the major scale, you might wanna try this in a different key. For example, if you wanted to harmonize the first note of the F major scale, and perhaps your chord is F major seven or F six, well, you build it from the top, 
one, six, five, three, one, and you have your first block chord for the major scale. All right, you're doing a great job. I'm gonna teach you the other six block chords that come from the major scale, and then I'll teach you which chords you can use these block chords over. There are actually six of them, and then I'll show you how to apply it to a melody. Okay, so we just talked about how to harmonize the first note of the major scale. How do you harmonize the second note of the major scale as a block chord? I like to do it like this. Okay, D, E, G, B, and D. So the way we construct this chord is we have the second note of the scale on the bottom, we have the third, the fifth, the seventh, and the second note of the scale. Or you could think of it down, two, seven, five, three, two, and once again, I did put the formula here so you could figure this out in any key if you were playing this in another key. Okay, how do we harmonize the third of the C major scale as a block chord? I like to harmonize it like this, E, G, A, C, and E. The formula for this is three, five, six, one, three, or you could count it down, three, one, six, five, three. And again, this is right here in your lesson sheet music, okay? Let's talk about the four. How do I like to harmonize the four? I do it like this, okay? We have F, A, C, D, and F, or you could think of it from the top down, four, two, one, six, four. Make sense? Then we harmonize the five. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Five, six, one, three, and five. Or you could count it down, five, three, one, six, five. Now there is another way to harmonize this one. You could put the seven in there instead of the six. That's kind of an alternate way to harmonize this melody note on a C major chord. All right, we have two more notes from the major scale to go. Next is gonna be our A. We like to harmonize it like this, A, C, E, G, and A or you could think of it from the top down, six, five, three, one, six. And then finally, our last note of the major scale, we harmonize like this. This is very beautiful. We have seven, five, three, one, and seven. Okay, congratulations. You just learned how to harmonize all seven notes of your major scale in block chords. And here's the really cool thing. If you're playing jazz and you come across a chord like a C major seven chord, there's a very good chance that your melody will use notes from the underlying major scale. Therefore, you can harmonize that melody very easily in block chords if you've practiced this block chords scale exercise. Size. So let's play these block chords once more going up and coming back down the piano and then I'm going to show you how you can use these on melodies. Okay, so let's start on the first note of the scale, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and we end on the root. Isn't that gorgeous? And let's take it down. We have one, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, you're sounding great. And what I would encourage you to do is actually make up some little melodies and try using the block chords on them. So for example, you could create a very simple melody and then try the block chords on that melody. that sound beautiful? Or you could have a melody that goes like this. Now try the block chords on that. All right, let's go ahead and play the C major scale harmonized in block chords with the included backing track. And then I'll teach you which chords you can use these block chords over. Remember there are six of them. And then I'll show you exactly how to apply these to a melody. Here we go. And here it is. And bring it down. By the way, this lesson comes with three downloadable backing tracks at different tempos so you can practice along. You can also download and print the lesson sheet music you're seeing up here on the top left of this screen. And you can change the key of this entire lesson with the click of one button with our smart sheet music. So I'll put a link to all of that below. 
All right, we are on to step number four, and this is a very important step because you can harmonize the C major scale in block chords, but remember, we're harmonizing a melody. So it's very important to understand which chords work with these block chords, and there are six of them. So let's start with the first chord. If you have a C major chord in your left hand, there's a very good chance your melody will use one of these seven white notes, and therefore you could harmonize these notes using block chords if it calls for a C chord. Well, what if you're reading sheet music and you have a melody over a C major seven chord? Well, you can use these block chords that I taught you to harmonize the melody over this C major seven chord. Well, what if you had a C six chord with a melody on top of it? Well, you can use these block chords over a C six chord, okay? So already three different chords, C major, C major seven, C six. What about nine chords, like a C major nine? You can use these block chords over this chord. Also a C major six nine works with these block chords. And finally a C major 13, which is like a C major nine and you're adding a 13. Typically you would play it more like that. But once again, if you have this chord, you can harmonize the melody on top of this chord using these major block chords. All right, next I'm gonna teach you exactly how to apply your block chords to a melody. But before we do this, if you're enjoying this lesson and you wanna do a deep dive on block chords, including exercises to practice them in all keys, check out our block chords course and also check out our six jazz ballad harmonic approaches to understand how to use block chords on a tune like Misty. I'll put a link to both of those courses below. All right, we're in step number five with block chords. And in this step, we're gonna take a very basic melody and I'm gonna show you exactly how to apply block chords to that melody, okay? So for this melody, we have a C major seven in our left hand and the melody goes like this. Okay, how would you take this melody and harmonize it in block? chords? Well, this is step number six. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take that melody and let's apply our block chord process to this melody. Okay, so first step is to turn the melody into octaves. And the final step is to add the three notes in the middle that come from our C major block chords. Okay, so first melody note, that's gonna be a C, there's the block chord. We bring it down, back up, and up again. We're just using the notes from the scale. That's the E, and then the C, and then the B. Here's the A, here's the G, and we're gonna skip down to our F and finally our G. Hey, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed the lesson, please let me know in the comments and also be sure to check out pianowithjohnny.com. We have over 1,000 step-by-step lessons for all playing levels where you'll learn your favorite songs, styles, and how to improvise at the piano. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.